Hello and welcome to a very short tutorial on speeding up your Adobe Premiere experience. My name is Charles King. After a while I start to notice that the software tends to run very slowly. It bogs down and even sometimes rewinding or fast forwarding a video, it takes a second for it to load. This might be the result of having numerous cache files sitting on my operating hard drive and slowing down my computer in general. Let me explain. The way Premiere works is to show you the image of the file, it creates a temporary preview or cache file. This file is stored on your hard drive and after your job is complete and archived, does nothing except for slow down Premiere and all other softwares. What you need to do is to go in and remove this file. I'm going to show you two ways of doing this. The first way, and by the way I am using a Mac, is to open up Finder and go to the Go tab, you open it up, and you're looking for a library. You won't see it first, so what you have to do is hold Option, and there it is. I'm not familiar with how to do this on a PC. You would have to check with Adobe Forms to figure that out. So we're going to click on Library. It's going to open up. You'll need to go to Application Support, Adobe, and then Common, and then right here. This is where you'll find all of these preview files in the media cache files. So just to give you an idea of what a computer, which in my case, my iMac, which has not been done in probably eight months or so, how much storage this file holds of just preview files, let me show you. Almost 60 gigabytes of just preview files. So what you need to do is you need to open it up and select everything. I'm going to switch to this viewing mode so it will be easier for me to select everything. We're going to select all. And these are all just previews of the different files I've had for different jobs and I use with Adobe Premiere. And then I'm going to just delete them. Right click and send to trash. It's a little bit slow because I am running a screen recording process right now. Like 17,236 files are now going to the trash. And once again, that was 60 gigabytes of just preview files. While it's doing that, I'm going to explain something. Don't worry if you have to go back to a job that you've already completed and think that these files are necessary. What Adobe Premiere will do is it will notice, hey, these files aren't there, and it will create new ones. That's how the system works. Also, what you might want to do in the future is to actually put these files, if you're working off an external hard drive, is and put these files on the external hard drive and that way it frees up your operating system to run much faster. There we go and just empty out the trash can and say goodbye to 60 gigabytes that have been logging down my system. And now that's done. Now that was one way of doing this and that was again switching to Finder, go into the Go tab, hold Option, Library, Application Support, Adobe, Common, Media Cache Files, and now that's empty. The other way of doing this would be to be in Premiere, you go to Preferences, Media, and this right here is our Media Cache Database. As you can see, it's the exact same place that I went to in Finder. Libraries, Application Support, Adobe, Common, and back here it would say what that folder is. You can also just click right here on Clean, and it will do the exact same thing that I just did manually. So Windows users, this would be the way that I would do it if I just had to jump on a Windows computer to do it quickly. Okay, and that's it. That's how you could automatically clean out these files. So if you're using an external hard drive to work off of, which is how I recommend doing both photo and video, what you could do is store the cache files on that external hard drive if you know that you will always delete them just to keep file and space freer on your external drive. To do this, you would go to Browse and you would relocate it to whichever drive you are going to use and you would place it in whatever folder you would. Doing it like this will allow your computer's operating system to be freer as it will only be focusing on running the programs. So I hope you enjoyed this. Once again, my name is Charles King and I'll see you next time.